Women Talk. I'm Kia. I'm Andrea. And I'm Sheree. And they're back. Woo! Look, Momzilla and the lovely Alexa. <laughs> <laughs> Boom Alexa, you. Whatever, punk. <laughs> Alexa, thank you for joining us today. Thank you. You that. remember the bride, right? Well, we've got some good stuff for you today. Yay! Yay. And so, our viewer family has been asking me yes. every day, what <laughs> is going on at Wedding Central? Yes. So, I'll ask my niece, Alexis, what's going on, baby? It's going well. We have 41 days left. Wow! wow. Yeah. This is so cute! 41 oh, yeah. days! Oh, my gosh. gosh. Look, guys. Yeah, 41 days. Uh, my drawer that sits right by my bed. Um, and this is the counterpart of what I made for him. A little glass that it started, the m and started up here. Wow. Actually, um, when there were 182 days left. So this was something I created for him. Oh. Um, and now there are 41 days Yay. left. Yay. Yay. That's so precious. That is so, it's so adorable. Cute. So it's, it's going well. Wow, okay. that's awesome. I like it. I love Thank it. Thank you, baby. It. And friends, we asked you and we told you that we would keep you posted along yes, the way. Yes, yes. Thank you for sticking with us. And we're here with you at 41 Days and Counting. Yes. 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 So, Alexis, another question from our viewer family yes. members. Is it possible to really plan a wedding without a wedding planner? Now, at first I was skeptical about that because in all the movies mm -hmm. and all the shows, I've always mm -hmm. seen, you know, oh, this is my wedding planner. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, this is, you know, who's going to show me everything mm -hmm. to do. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to have anything to do. But yes. it is possible. Um, I started off by doing a lot of research and talking to my mom. Yes, tell me <laughs> uh, who you have. You oh, my secret gosh. Weapon. oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm helping yeah. so much. She's a yeah. secret oh pain, <laughs> not the secret weapon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So she calls herself the volunteer coordinator. That's correct. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Thank you. Hit my papers. <laughs> yes, but I actually have found that the key is organization. Uh, um, yeah. I have a binder right here. She has I have a folder. Right oh no! Here. Imagine that. But I, but I also have a spreadsheet that she never looks at. She, um, they yes. miss, miss, <laughs> more list. She's my taskmaster. Yes, but, but they, it really is helpful. So tell me about your list, please. Yeah. So I mean, the main thing about not having a planner is you can't leave out any of the details. Mm, so, so I have a spreadsheet that my fiance actually updates regularly. Ooh, Mommy never looks Sean. at it, but <laughs> he, actually, ah, he actually Sean. updates it regularly and he's very helpful with it as yes. well. Baby, where is the spreadsheet? It's on, it's on Google Drive. So it's on Google Sheets. I ain't know nothing about Google Drive, Google Sheets. Yeah. She keeps putting that stuff on there and sending me an invitation. Look at it. I don't even know where it is, but now she has schooled me. Yeah. I look at it now. She's it's not so, going to look at it. Do not it, believe it. It's revolutionary. It's very helpful. Yes, yeah. it is. So just the, I mean, I guess like, um, I have it printed, um, but basically, this is an outdated version because there's <laughs> a lot more green on it now. Um, but if you can see, it's color coded. It color coded, people. So when we complete something, we put it in green. When it's still in progress, it's yellow. When it's not started, it's red. And mm. then we have special notes where we're getting it from, the link of whatever it was for yeah. online. We've done a lot of online shopping for this. We've looked around for yes, you know, Everything. deals and wow. we found a lot. So um, organization, that, it is, is that is so important. Yes, yeah, I think that, and I have my own folder that oh, I have good because grief. you know it is very important to keep these things because I'm able to go back and to reflect on all of our what different things. What mother has their own binder? <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> I am not the mother right now. I am the coordinator. <laughs> So okay. we didn't realize your other role. Right? Yes, thank you she very has much. Another hat on. Yes, thank you very much. And I think that Alexis, you know, she and she'll talk more about this, but just all of her different um, charts and things have really helped to keep us in a path where we know what we've done, we have it done, we still need done. So the other day she said, we're 80% there. Wow. I said, oh, oh, and she said, yes. And I felt very good about that. So thank you, Alexis, we're 80% there. Wow. You know, That's I not actually, bad for 41 days, 80% yes, there. Yeah, I actually wrote down at work the other day when I was sitting at my, in my cube at work. Um, I wrote down some strengths and weaknesses about myself. And one of the things that I wrote down, and I don't know if you'll call this a strength or weakness, but one of the things I wrote down is that it's hard for me to see that progress is being made unless it's tangible progress. Mm. Uh, so I like to be able to look, oh, these things are green. 
you know, these things are yellow, these things are red. I'm very deadline oriented. That's good. Wow. So That's it's excellent. very it's been very helpful. I think that that has definitely minimized stress. Um, so you know, I'm not sure. You know, the jury's out if you know wedding planner is the way to go or not. But I think that if you Love do that. go without a wedding planner, then you have to be very organized and be on yeah. task with what you're doing. Makes yeah, sense. I like that. Yeah, that's good. That's good stuff. So I guess because we've talked about what everybody should know before planning a wedding, right? Right. right. So I think why don't you talk to us a little bit about what kinds of things you you've done? Wedding on a budget. You said you, one of the things you said that I thought was so key. Know what kind of wedding you want. What uh -huh. does that mean? Yeah. That's yeah. Good. So you know, for me, uh, we went back and forth about this. <laughs> Um, in the imagine that. I oh, imagine wanted to a that. warm no. wedding. I wanted to be outside in a garden. Trouble. I wanted to be beautiful. And, and when that's her to me, she can have those <laughs> things. That's just sad to me. I cannot be another day away from my best friend. Therefore, yes. they picked April. So, yeah, I mean, she mm -hmm. told me, you're going to get married in June. <laughs> that's, what, that's what she told me. Is that any surprise? Uh, <laughs> Why well, tell them this? You know, her and I, we went on a nice walk at uh, Silver and Arboretum. Yes, yeah, which is a beautiful is a, picturesque location. It's beautiful. It also was not big enough for the wedding that we wanted to have. Yeah. Um, but she said, well, we can cut down the lip. We can cut it down. We can make it work. We can make it work, girl. Yeah. She's like, we can make it work. Oh, no. For my vision. Can't. Right. Oh, for, her, oh, for her vision. Uh-oh. For her vision. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, that would have been if it was in June, right? Yes. So, but, you know, we actually wanted to get married in March. Um, but, you know, it ended up not only being because of her that it wasn't, but spring break is in March, and we still have a number of friends that are in college. So, um the date that we were going to pick would have been during that. Right. So it ended up working out. But the main thing is that, you know, we knew that, okay, this is the type of month that we want it to be in. So it's still a little colder outside. So we want it to be indoors. So if we want it to be indoors, do we want it to be during the daytime? Do we want mm. it to be during the evening time? And actually, the reason why it is at the time that it is, is because of the venue. So that was a big thing that I didn't know. Show them your chart. Now, this yeah. chart right here, you all, I must share. I thought you said this chart. Okay, listen, listen, listen. This is her first chart that she created for us that we had to go by, where she actually put different venues that she wanted to visit. I she put different it. caterers that she wanted to talk to. And this was just also great to help her talk about, you know, Share where you want. I saw one video where it said you put your money because budget is so important, you guys. Yes, you yes. put your money where you want um, what you love the most. So if you want food or you put it in that, if you want this or that. So, what is it that you really wanted people to remember? What was most important to you where you wanted to put your most money? Well, he and I are very into music, um, and so we wanted it to just be special um, for people to know oh, that wedding is so them, yeah. you know, and it not to be anyone else. Of, nice. Oh, I know that you know, that must have been recommended to them to do that mm -hmm. or something like that, but that it's just so us, mm -hmm. right? So for us, it's experiences is the main That's thing. Great. So we made sure we had an awesome DJ. We made sure that the videographer is amazing. They actually, um, the person who is um, going to do the videography, cinematography, actually, Ooh. because he's a cinematographer, but um, basically going to be telling the story of our wedding through video, um, actually did one of our friends. Nice, uh, video nice. and so we know that he does great work but anyway that's where you know we decided okay these are the things that are important to us but also Love something it. that's important to my mom is the flowers that's so, right so I think that one of the biggest things um, for for us is to go to people that you know who do professional great work or do beautiful things and go to them and ask for their help. And so one of the people we went to for help was Andrea. Woo! Because she makes beautiful flowers, as you see every week with all of our floors that we have that we do. Yeah. So please talk to us a little bit about what you're doing. So it's a couple of things. You know, it was important. I heard Kia, but it was important to get what Alexis wanted. She is classy, but very simple. And so, you know, we're not going to have things over the top. They'll be beautiful. Um, and they'll, they will tell a story. And so I went on Pinterest. I sort of, you know, there's some things that I knew about her, but I went on Pinterest and I made a, I have a board that says Lexi Girls Wedding. <laughs> and, uh, and it has all kinds of things in it. And then I talked to her about what flowers she liked. Um, and so there are a couple of things that we're going to do. And so I'm going to show you. This is, every table will have this particular uh, vase, so it, with the exception of the sweetheart table. And so we, I've been thinking about an assortment of flowers. And so 
Uh, one of the things that we're going to do is cut costs. So I'll go to the wholesaler early and I've got some appointments. And you know, I love Trader Joe. Yeah. And so I've written down everything that I want from them. And so there'll be a great arrangement. And again, the sweetheart table will look different. But this, again, will help cut costs because we already know. And these we can pick up at a number of places. I have that's several great. of them. That's great. So that's helpful. And then one of the things that we... And so we've got some special things that even uh, Momzilla doesn't know about. But, <laughs> really? But, yes. There you but, go. but she's also asked for the, um, the table where the hors d'oeuvres yes. will be served. And so we're going to use an arrangement similar to I this. I love that so much. I hope so you can much. see it. Uh, because here's the thing. It's their wedding day, so we always want to look up. So th that will be mm. tall because that is what they will come into. Mm. So guests will know that they are going to another level. And so wow. the vase That's will be so tall, nice. yeah. but we'll have some of these. And these are glads, and glads are very unassuming. And ca calla lilies. They're oh. statement, they're classy. And then these are one of my favorites, and they're called the Bells of Ireland. And so, just wanted to, um, so it'll have some of those. And I'll put Pussy Willows in there. We won't have those at the wedding. But, again, that, those are the kinds of things that we'll be doing. And so, I think the last thing is, she's got a great venue because she'll be able to take pictures outside. And so, we'll use some of the tea lights. In the evening. In the yeah. evening, because it's evening. So, we yeah. don't want to miss the charm of the wedding, and we want to make sure... People see, so we've got candles everywhere, and she can again. She'll talk more, but so I'm really excited to be able to help with the flowers. Thank so. you, thank you, yes, thank you. Yes. Thank goodness, our best friend. Yeah, <laughs> I think that one of the things in in staying in your budget and, yes. and, and planning a wedding on a budget is doing a tremendous amount of research that you touched on, because Alexis and I both will stay on the internet and price check and price check, and she found excellent. two great sites, Wedding Wire and the Knot that we look for and tell them about that how we can look at vendors and so forth yeah so we can search for vendors by category so the main it's thing cool. was um the venue at first we yes. were searching and searching for venues um and just thinking about you know kind of uh, along with the question that was asked earlier about what kind of wedding how do you know what kind of wedding you want so one of those things is the venue. The venue yeah. is Very where important. everyone walks yeah. into. Yeah, that's right. It sets the tone for the wedding. Yes. Although I might argue that the invitations set the tone for the wedding because mm -hmm. that's before they even get there. Yeah. Which was something that was very important to me. Right. So that kind of goes along with the experiences part. I think of invitations as an experience that you get to walk yeah. into before you even walk into the venue. And it does tell them what type of wedding it's going to be. Yes. Right. You Definitely. know what I mean? Which for us is, a, a, as you talked about, it's simple elegance is mm -hmm. what we're going for. Mm -hmm. That's like our, our theme for what we've been doing. Yeah. Another key nice thing, thing is getting friends to help. I Absolutely. actually have a spreadsheet um, <laughs> split into three sections of set up, clean up, and um, break the other. Break I think uh, it's uh, something to help those people oh, helping yes. her, oh, yeah. helping with yes. the centerpiece. And our day yeah. of, our day of consultant, who is Shani. Thank you, Shani. Yes, our yes, day yes, of consultant. Yes, yes. yes, I think I'd actually add that to a key. If you don't have a wedding planner, definitely look to having a day of you coordinator. Must. Yes, that's um, excellent. Because that'll be a great help. So that to take the stress you know, off of us on that day. Right, because I don't want I don't want my mom to be yeah. you know running. She would. So nice. yeah, yeah. She would. She'd be like, I gotta go. Get I'm so glad you said oh, wait. that. Yes. Thank you. But you know what, Alexis, and I know you've got more things to share, but I'm so glad you said that because this is her time with you. And if she's running around, i got to pick up Yay. this, i got to pick up that, then she, she'll she never get these moments yeah. back. And so right. I'm thankful that you said that. So this is your moment. So, yeah. you know, as she has her list, let other people do the yes. lifting. Yeah. And so, yeah, so good, the good stuff. Yeah, yeah, I think cool. it's it's great to have a list set out um, so that people are able to execute it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, so that we know, okay, mm -hmm. everything is there, the groundwork is laid, and then you know, as my friends come in and help mm -hmm. you out and mm -hmm. help everyone out, then they already know what to do. Yeah, you know? so yeah. one of our last things that we want to talk about. Me, this is another DIY. She's going to be painting these uh, very soon for our table soon. numbers, Beautiful. silver. Yes. And also, 
one of the things that was so they had such a beautiful photo shoot um, for their engagement photos um, that they have gotten these and other moments of their time together and they're going to put them in frames that they ordered from like the Dollar Tree. Oh, yeah. And they ordered their four by sixes and they're going to go one on each table. And so people can kind of go around to the different tables and see, you know, um, pictures and photographs of them during their relationship and talk about them. It's another thing to talk about. Absolutely. And, and have fun with on the table. So this is an inexpensive thing to do. Yeah, you know, with this, I mean, you know, we talked a little bit about storytelling and um, experiences. And for us, um, you know, I don't want to give too much away yet because some people may be watching this. Yes. But um, storytelling is going to be a big part of our day. Um, and even just... We have a spoken word performance that's going to happen during the Ooh. ceremony. Um, Their and, vows are very important to them. That yes. They've written themselves. Yes. So our own personal vows we have. Um, so it'll be a big part of... Uh, yeah. I know. I know. How about I'm getting crazy. goosebumps? Yes. I am. Yes. So it'll be a, you know, it'll be a big part of, of uh, just bringing everything together. Um, I think a big thing was that we had an amazing, amazing, amazing engagement photo shoot session. Um, and so these pictures are, there are too many good ones. We're going to get some blown up and put on easels yes. and everything, but they're too good to not share with everyone that's there. And so we want them to be on our journey with us and be a part of that experience um, and just tell the story. Yes. And also, wow. don't forget, you guys, again, go to your friends, you know, borrow things because Andrea is letting us borrow her easels. Don't forget, we need your <laughs> easels, girl. Yes. 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 So, it's it's on know, my list. That's right. Because the real thing, you guys, that Alexis and Sean have both said is that they want to have a beautiful wedding, but they want to be able to have a beautiful life afterwards. And that is what this is all about. You know what I mean? Beautiful. So, you guys, have your budget. Stick to your budget. You know, don't go beyond what you can do because, you know, you want to enjoy your time and enjoy your life so together. True. And so, this is just our way of making a beautiful day, planning it so everybody can have a great time. But not, you know, breaking the bank. Right. Don't break you the bank. Go. You know? Don't break the bank. It's just so wonderful to see this all come together. Yes. Um, and we're just oh, having yes. a great time planning it together. And I think, too, you know, it's really hard for me, you know, to let my little buddy go. Yeah. You know, she's my first little buddy. So and so close. for us to do this major project together, you know, I do give her the blues. She gives me the blues. But we will always be able to look back at this to say Absolutely. this is something that yes. we were able to do together. So we encourage you all to do the same thing, yes. you know, yes. to just enjoy these times with your kids. And we thank you all for being a yes. part of this. Yes. The best part of this process has been the love that we have all been sharing together. Yes. Yes. So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And thank so you guys. Remember, until next time, get ready. Reset. And go. Bye. Bye. Bye.